Double. Oh, no. Smoke. Bent rods, we love bent rods in the morning. Pretty good session out yesterday, but we battled the sharks for that morning session that we did, so we've ducked out for a second morning. Uh, not a bad way to start with a bent rod for Jeff. This is a good fish, eh? Whoa. You got a big enough gun for that one? Uh, 5500 Azores 30 pound line. I would like to step up right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah. We just gotta. We'll cross our fingers it all holds together. But that's the um, that's the seven foot pressure point, general purpose sort of base bid plastics rod. It's been doing pretty well for Jeff. He's, he's landing some nice fish on it. He's got it with a 55 Azores on it, 5500. Uh, 30 pound braid, and that's a pretty pretty solid fish by the look of it. Not a bad start to the morning. That wasn't first drop, was it, Jeff? It was first drop. <laughs> Gold. I believe he did say he was going to. <laughs> I know, he got it wrong, Robbie. He said he made the call, I'll get one on the second drop. Boom, first drop. Home. Yeah, Cobia. Cobia. Oh, Cobia. Oh, man. When we arrived, the guys were quick to tell us about a, a story of a triple hookup on Cobia from a whale shark that had swum under the boat. And we were thinking, ah, oh, not that you should have been here yesterday story. So it was awesome when Jeff's rod loaded up to a nice Cobia. Great way to start the day. So that's a, that's a pretty, pretty nice fish, eh, Jeff? The, the Cobia, but you don't like Cobia. Oh, look, <laughs> we're pretty spoiled up here and in summer, like our close rubble and wrecks and stuff, they they can be a nuisance I suppose, but yep. they're a brilliant fish, they're powerful, fight hard, and yeah, they're willing to take like plastics and jigs, which is, well, I mean, they're the best yeah, thing about them. Yeah, it's awesome, mate. That was a great fight on 30 pound break. Oh, that, that was, was awesome. brilliant, yeah, but in saying that, like the combo, yeah. But they, they can be prolific eh, and stop you from getting the more tasty critters in the in the summertime, mate. Right? That's it, yeah. yeah. And I noticed you put on your secret squirrel straight up, five inch electric chicken. <laughs> yeah, well, the old uh, five inch pretty much is just the all round yep. plastic, it just catches everything. Yeah. No, that's an awesome fish, mate. Well done, that's a great start to the morning. Stick bait. Stick bait. Everybody duck when this gets airborne. On the stick bait, Jeff. On the stick bait. Fish ink hooker, sinking stick bait. Mass bunker colour. I like that colour. It's a pretty nice colour. Stick bait retrieve for you on the hooker. Throw a long cast. Long cast. Let it sink down through the water column. Yep. Because we know there's a lot of bait sitting sort of mid water. And then just rip it through, rip it through with pauses. And that thing just smashed it. You had the prop out a few casts ago, hooked up, dropped it, and then it got annihilated. Same thing happened, yeah. Pack attack. Pack attack. <laughs> Lost it. Yeah. Well, that's pretty awesome. You got the Azores combo going there, yeah. so Azores rod and Azores reel. Yep. That's the six foot Azores, good rod for oh pretty universal sort of rod, hey. Oh yeah, I'm a Jig and cast. We got some colour down there. Oh, he's got friends. He's got mates, eh? He's got mates. Oh, no, it's another one of them things. It is another one. Terrible. Good as Kobe, You have Jeff on the face, Jeff is a thinking angler, and it was awesome to watch him change up presentations throughout the day. The switch to the fish ink lures sinking stick bait, the 160mm hooker, was a good one, and the Kobe loved it. Being a sinking stick bait, Jeff could cast it long and rip and pause it back through the bait fish, leaving it in the fish's face for longer and enticing a bite. A cast, a rip, a pause, boom, fish on. Bent rods and good times.
not a bad way to finish a North Queensland adventure. Double hookup. Fish ink lures, scrum half popper, eating off the surface. Right in front of me. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. The fish actually shook it underwater, so I gave it a few more rips and he's grabbed it again. I just hope that he hasn't got me tied up down there. Fishing stick bait, fishing popper, double hook up, the hooker and the scrum half. I might just hang on to this one and let you guys sort that one out first, eh? Oh, that's a good cove, yeah. That's a big cove. He's a good, good, good That pressure point in seven foot six. Stick bait rod. That's the demo model, mate. Isn't oh, it? the demo model, You're not mate. Even in Australia, are they? No, they're, they're, they'll be dropping pretty soon. So by the time people are checking this out, these rods will be here, and I'll tell you what, they're bloody beautiful. Torre blanks, full Fujis. Throws a stick bait or a popper a long way. Feels so nice. It's taken a lot of the work off me. Good fish. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Hang on, my hands are full. Let's go. You beauty. What's that? I'll tell you what. Hey, hey. That's what I was waiting for. your leader. Go on. He'd swallowed that first few laps. He'd actually swallowed it, come back, and then nailed you, man. Now get them trebles out, man. That's dangerous. That is awesome. <clears throat> Tell you what, folks, North Queensland, we've had a crazy time. Two morning sessions. Uh, first one, the sharks messed with us a bit, but Robbie got a big nannies. We got some trevs. Today's been day of the cobia, and we had a few GTs hanging around the boat. So we uh, put the scrum half popper on, fish ink, 140 mil, not a big popper, but it spits a lot of water. Some short punches, the thing rolled on it, took it nice, down we went. And uh, yeah, solid lump of GT, pretty stoked with that, eh? I don't think I'd want to be anywhere else right now. When you're in North Queensland, you're dead set. You cannot go home without having a crack at the iconic barramundi. Crack a bit of out of that bag. That's a big fish, Justin. Keep good tension on him. Man, he's annihilated. Yeah, keep good tension on that fish. That's a crack.